Hello, this is Melanie Williams with Mel Mel Stamps. We're going to make a fun card today. It's a fun fold card, one that I made a few days ago. And today we're going to use the Mountain Air stamp set and some Greetings from the Best Year stamp set. And we're going to use the Majestic Mountain dies. It comes in a set of seven, coordinates with the Mountain Air stamp set. So I've got some pieces pre-cut for our card today. I've cut a piece of Whisper White. This is three inches by six inches and then I've scored it on the side here at one half inches. Then I've got a piece of Mossy Meadow cardstock. It is two inches by six inches and it is scored just a little bit below a half inch, so I think seven sixteenths is what it is. Um, so it's just a sixteenth of an inch be below, you know, smaller than the actual one half inch. Okay, and the idea is for these to fit together. So the reason we cut the green piece smaller is so that it could go around these pieces. So we're going to have a fold out. So I'm going to start by stamping on the Mossy Meadow with Mossy Meadow ink. And I'm going to stamp the, the trees, the row of trees. And I'm going to stamp it double, two rows of trees. Now I like to use my stamp and Pierce mat when I stamp with the photopolymer stamps because they make it makes a good impression so I'm going to do two rows of this so one at the top and then one underneath like so so we have a landscape of trees and then I'm going to flip it over. I've got the mountains on the other side. This stamp set's kind of cool. Let me show you something. They're like double stamps. So on the one stamp of mountains, you have this on one side. Now the other side, you have this where you can just um, stamp like a, like a background image or a shadow, something like that. That's fun. We're going to use the one that actually stamps the mountains. And I'm going to stamp the mountains in Misty Moonlight, one of my favorite new in colors. I'm going to take it and stamp it this way. I want my fold to be here. I'm going to stamp a couple of layers of mountains here also. Right here. And a little bit further down so that we have two mountain mountains there. And then I just want to take some and do on the side. That one didn't quite get some ink on the one side. There we go. So we have two rows of mountains. And I'm going to stamp a greeting. This is the very inside part. Well, not the very inside, but the part of the greeting, actually. And I'm going to stamp it in the mossy meadow. And this is the thank you for all you do that's in the um, best year stamp set. And I'm just going to stamp this. I'm going to center it between this fold and the cut and stamp it right on there. So then it says, thank you for all you do. So we've got two layers stamped of our card. We've got the trees and the mountains and our greeting. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut this, the trees out with the top of the tree die, like so. So we'll give that a jagged ed edge on the top and kind of outline the trees. And then I'm going to take this there is a mountain die in there, but I don't want it to cut out the bottom part. So I am going to just fussy cut around these mountains 
like so and leave about a sixteenth of an inch around the edge. So we'll, we'll do that. Another thing that we're going to run through our um, die cutting machine is the trees. I'm going to stamp some trees. This is one that has a die that goes with it. So it's kind of a two trees together. And I'm just going to stamp these on a scrap paper of Whisper White. Get some more ink on there. And this is in the Mossy Meadow. Then we have those trees. And while we're cutting out our other items, we can actually cut out this too. So I'll take and go cut those out. Then when we come back, we'll have these two pieces cut out and our trees. So now we have three elements to our card. I've cut a piece of the Seaside Spray cardstock. Whoops, we're going to stamp it again. Seaside Spray cardstock right here. It is a cut at four and a quarter by five and a half. So it's the size of an actual card and it's going to be pretty much our card base. And I've done some fun things with this. First of all, I'm going to stamp in the Misty Moonlight, the inside greeting. So we've got, thank you for all that you do. And now I'm going to put, and for, thank you for all that you are and, and every thoughtful thing you do. So I want to just stamp that, kind of center that, maybe a little lower than the very center, but it's centered this way. So we've got our greeting. Get that to dry a little bit so we won't smear it. Now I've taken the Whisper White Craft Stamp Pad. This is an interesting um, type of opaque white. It's a craft ink and it comes, the stamp pad actually comes empty with just the foam pad and a refill of the ink when you purchase it. So then you just want to get the refill going and ink it up when you use it. So I have just been using this. I ink it up as I need it, like so. I just get a little bit of ink on there. Not really fussy with it. If you were inking the whole pad, you might want to be a little more fussy. But I just use it as I need it. And I'm going to do a little bit of clouds on the inside of this card, on this card base. So I've taken one of our Stampin' sponges, ink it out just a little. I'm just going to drag it across the top of the card, like so, to maybe just look at like some clouds up in the air, up in the sky, like that little look. It brightens it up a little bit. And then we've got this fun stamp get my ink pad. This is um, Seaside Spray ink. So I want these clouds to be just lightly in the air. I'm going to stamp two of them. Just the clouds. One here and one a little lower. Then I want to fluff them up a little bit. So I'm going to just put my dauber, sponge dauber, in the white ink and Dob some of that white ink on the clouds just to give them some brighter look and make the ink so it's not so dark. Kind of blend those clouds in. Now our craft ink is permanent ink. It takes a little longer for it to dry than the regular ink. So we do want to let this dry for a little while. Well, for a minute, I'm just going to fan it a bit get it to dry. Also a fun stamp that's in this stamp set is it's three birds. I'm going to stamp those in the um, darker blue ink, which is the Misty Moonlight, and just do a couple of birds up here in the sky. It's like a group of birds. There we have the inside of our card. Now, all we need to do is assemble our card. So we've got all of our pieces. 
Hopefully this is drying a little bit. And what we're gonna do is we wanna put the mountains on and then the the grass goes, I'm not the grass, the um, trees go on top. So we have a mountain scene. Reminds me of a Bob Ross painting. It's kind of one of these outdoorsy scenes. So we're gonna put some adhesive on this little flap and line up the bottom of this and just wrap it around the side of our card base. Stick it down good. So then we've got this little flap that will open. We're gonna do the same thing with the mossy meadow. Just put a little bit of adhesive on there. And we're gonna wrap it around the other side. Make sure it lines up at the bottom. like so like that then we have two flaps isn't that fun two flaps of cards the trees and the mountains and we have our tree that we can add right here and we can put that on with a dimensional but i did not bring my dimensionals over so i'm just going to adhere it with some of the stamp and seal Put it on the front of the card so you can see how it would go. So we have that part of our card. Now if you see the back, this is where I haven't stamped it right and had to turn over and redo it. We don't want that to show. So I have cut, we don't want these to show either. I've cut a five and a half by four and a quarter um, piece of white, whisper white thick cardstock to put our um, base on. Well, to actually take over for the base of the card. So I just put that around the edges. I love our new adhesive. It really sticks and holds everything down well. Stamp and seal. I'm going to put that on like that. And there we have our card that opens up. Kind of a trifold card. So here's one that I did that actually shows the pop-up of the trees with the dimensionals. And then when you give this to somebody, you write in here, 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 however much you wanna write, happy birthday, thank you for all you do, it already says thankful for you. But then you sit it on the counter, or on the, the mantle, whatever, and it will just sit, stand up like that. Can you see how that stands up? Like so. So I hope you enjoyed our card tonight. Um, remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and join me on Facebook, Mel Mel Stamps or Stamp with Melanie. And have a wonderful, wonderful week and happy stamping.